Welcome back, everybody, to Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Last time, we took down Anjanath and Tigrex, and neither one of them stood a chance. Even Tigrex, who I love so much, which I guess because I love him, I'm really good at fighting him. We also have discovered the location and whereabouts of Velcana, and we have the quest A Tale of Ice and Fire. But we're not going to be tackling that just quite yet. Instead, we're going to tackle two of our other optional monsters in our list, which first up is going to be Fool's Mate. Dear Gog, one of my researchers is absolutely obsessed with a particular Rathian that he has been observing. So much so that he rarely returns to base anymore to report. I ask that you do something about it before things get... weird. And yeah, we also have a Queen of Heart where we could fight Rathian and Wildspire or Ancient Forest. I think... I think we're going to do this one because this will give us a decoration that we can meld. So we'll do the Queen at, the Queen at Heart to fight it in Wildspire instead of Fool's Mate fighting it in Ancient Forest. Because we I feel like we always fight it there. But yes, Rathian is going to be the first one we're going to be tackling. Now, you'll see it on screen. And like you'll see both of them because the other monster we're going to be fighting today is going to be Pink Rathian. And if I'm being honest, they're like carbon copies. I mean, I get that they're subspecies of each other, but... They're both mega weak to the dragon element, and their ailments are literally all the same. So, dragon if you have it. If not, then thunder is your next best bet, which is pretty common. It's either thunder or ice that we're always using, I feel like. So, and there you go. Oh, and of course, the game doesn't bring me to camp, because I... You see, the reason I don't like Astera... And this is very particular. I do not like Astera because the canteen is so far away. I also forgot to equip something, so let me go into the tent and equip that really quick. Throw my charm back on. Uh, yeah, I don't like Astera because the canteen is so far away, so it sucks running all the way up the stairs to go there. So I kind of prefer to either always be in Celiana or to just, you know, the game bring me to camp so I can eat a meal here, so... Thanks for that, but it did actually help because I forgot to re-equip my critical eye charm when I was testing something, so that worked. So now let's go actually get tracks for Rathian because I don't know why, see, I'm going to complain again. I don't know why it dropped us near where Rathian was located because Rathian flew away the second we got there. And the second Rathian flew away, you'd think like, oh, we landed, we saw Rathian, and then it flew away. The game would be like, oh, hey, bro. You discovered a Rathian, but we didn't. So it's going to bring us to the other side of the map when, like, literally Rathian is right here. So it makes no sense to bring us all the way to the right side of the map to just come back to the left side. I'm not sure why the scout flying, the kind of design philosophy is kind of awkward that way. It just is. And in typical fashion, this Rathian is gigantic. Now, hopefully using a flying weapon, this or hopefully fighting a, fighting a flying monster with a ground weapon like the hammer. Hopefully this won't cause us too much of a headache. At least I really hope it doesn't. I mean, even if Rathian does fly, as long as we have like a ledge to hop and we can do the kind of hop, the, the ledge spamming, we should be okay. And I don't really foresee Rathian being that hard of a monster. Pink Rathian might prove a little bit more deadly but it's going to be almost the same carbon copy fight, so I'm not really, like, worried. I mean, I don't really appreciate the Bombros here. That's definitely cramping my style a little bit. Luckily, I have the Rock City on, so it's not really going to distract me too much. When it wears off, though, we're definitely going to be in a world of hurt. Alright, let's do this. No! No! I can't see what I'm doing! Yeah, even if Rath... Like, Rathian does not fly as much as Rathalos. So I don't think it's going to really be a giant problem. When we fight Rathalos at some point, then, it, then it's going to be a problem. Then, using something like the Insect Glaive, where we can actually fight in the air will be a lot nicer. 
but our rack steady has now worn off. So now we're in a little bit of a vulnerable pos position. If Bombro would go away, that'd be great, which I think he did. He did. He did. I don't know why I thought he was still here. I guess I'm just used to annoying monsters just being annoying. Now, I could always bring dung pods. That's kind of what dung pods are for, is they're meant to make invading monsters kind of like that to sort of go away. I never bring them. I had friends that always used them because they were like, oh man, dung pods, these are my favorite. But I, I never really gravitated to them. But they are useful. I just don't use them, so... I just like to complain about monsters being in my way on quests. That way, if I do bad, well, I can be like, well, it's because the, the, the monster, the monster invaded. Oh my god. This is a big ledge. Come on, Rathian. As long as I have this ledge, I'm not really worried about you. As long as I have the ledge. We see Tigrex does the same thing. This really shows you that I meant that I meant that when I said Tigrex and Rathian kind of do like the same strat where they both just kind of pace back and forth. Let's wait to see where Rathian goes while we sharpen. Oh, it only oh it just went it just went north of me. Wow, it didn't even go very far. Although I there no there there's a no there is no ledge here. But we can do rolling slides. And that's the next best thing we got, our rolling slides. That's always the hammer strat. Ledge hopping or, or roll slides. I'm not really good enough with the hammer to do anything else besides <laughs> those things. Although it's looking like Rathian's going to force me to fight this the normal way. Ooh. Not being enraged though, I like that. Not being enraged means I can flinch shot you and get some good big uh, big bang attacks off. Nice. Nope, nope. Hit the head. Hit the head. Yeah. Why does the Rathian got to be so large? Also, why are we back down here? Rathian somehow weaseled her way back down to, be, to being on the southern, the southern forest, forest side. Ow! Sniped out of the air. Ah! I can't see what I'm doing. I'm getting lost in translation. Yeah, I always feel kind of bad because the hammer is just a lot of mounting strats, but I mean, like, that's what the hammer does. The hammer is so good at getting mounts and getting knockdowns, and, like, you want the monster to be down so you can just do big damage with the Big Bang. That's just the strat all the time. Uh-oh. I don't like the Bomberos nearby. That is not something I like. Not at all. Plus, this is like this is like our most effective way to beat a monster. Like this is so fast. Like this this is our fast strat right here. Come on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! Yeah. The problem with that big bang final attack is once you're locked into that animation of the kind of spinning around to the slam, eh, you're kind of locked in it. You can't really get out of it and we didn't have enough health to survive the blast so i think with that i'm actually gonna finally use the raider ride for once since i never use it dropping our way back up to full white as our uh Kestodon brings us there like can you can you can you go to wrath thank you thank thank you for going to rathian thank you for going the way that i wanted you to go so so polite At least Rathian is not far away. We can at least take solace in that. All right, here we go. Ooh, it did the same attack. <gasps> All right, that still hit us, but that didn't kill us this time at least. Okay, Rathian. 
you being you being a little cheap. And that that's saying a lot coming from me. Like that's if I'm saying you're being cheap by just blasting me twice in a row, that's saying a lot considering I literally have been fighting this being cheap. All right, into a wall. What's the what's the old song? To the window, to the wall. That's kind of what we do all the time with hammer and I just ice more in general because clutch claw. Like I know people hate the clutch claw, but I mean I really like it. I really like the clutch claw. I think it's fine. It's not a mechanic that like specifically pisses me off or annoys me, you know. Could it be better? I mean, well, of course. But do I think it's terrible? No. I know for speedrunning it's probably not the best strap, but I don't speedrun Monster Hunter. I try to speedrun Hollow Knight, but that, you know, there's no clutch claw on that, so. Although there is a Mantis Claw, not quite the same thing. Definitely a different a different uh, utility that, that, that that's offering you. Also, I didn't mention this, Milo's Coral Orchestra is getting really close to maxing out. And I don't actually have the next gadget, so we're gonna have to actually spend some time and go get the next gadget from the Rotten Vale. Because there's only two gadgets left for Milo to use, and he's almost got them all. Then we're going to pick the one that I personally like the most, which I would say is Coral Orchestra. But I think I might leave Milo on the Vigor Wasp Spray. I really like that gadget. I mean, honestly, Vigor Wasp Spray and the Coral Orchestra are like my two favorite gadgets of all of them. But I have my main file. I use the Coral or Orchestra, so we might as well just use the Vigor Wasp Spray for Milo. It'd be cool. Something a little different. Shake shake it up just slightly. Now, I already know, we already know where Rathian's going, so we're going to just go meet her where we need her to be. See, now when the Vigor, now when the Scout Pies are like, hey, go to the right side of the map, because that's where a track of Rathians is located, and I go, well, I mean, yeah, I, I know that, but that's not where Rathian is at the start of the mission game. Game. And now we pretty much just wait for Rathian to get here. And we did pretty well. We actually beat Rathian before our Rock City Mantle was available for recharge. That's not bad. Pretty solid. Alright, Rathian. You won't go to sleep because I'm I'm here. I'm here in your in your space. Come on. Walk into the trap. You know you want to. Look how pretty it is in the darkness. Step in it. Step in it. Yes. And there we go. Take that, Rathian. You just got punked. Can I get the bone pile before we run out of time? No. No, I don't think so. Wow, I couldn't even get the rare one that we were going to grab. Son of a gun. going head to head with Velcana. But why the elders recess? And with wasting no time, the pink power grab. The exodus of Legiana has created a power vacuum in the Coral Highlands. A rather fearsome pink Rathian seems inclined to fill that void. However, her reign is having a detrimental effect on the food chain. I ask that you go out and usurp the throne hunter. We shall do just that. And a shocker to no one, as a shock to no one, Pink Rathian, also three star a week to dragon. But if you don't have a good dragon one, two star a week to thunder. Ailments, stun is really effective though. Three star stun, huh? God, if only we had a stun weapon. Oh wait, we're running the hammer, guys. I think we're gonna be just fine.
Okay, but not if the game is not gonna bring me to camp to eat. All right, you know what? Screw it. Screw it. I don't want to eat a meal. I'm gonna just fight Rat Pink Rathian without even having a meal or anything. I mean, yeah, I got my items back. All right, let's grab Red Pits to get that flinch shot. Also, look, Fulgur and Jeth, we haven't. It's weird. Uh, so, on, so I'm gonna say we're gonna tan we're gonna tangent really quick. Honestly, it's really weird that the game shows you Fulgur Anjanath this like throughout the game up till now. But we have not actually had a story mission to fight Fulgur Anjanath. We we will. We will eventually have a mission to fight Fulgur Anjanath. We just don't yet. Which is that's why I think it's so weird that the game like shows you Fulgur Anjanath so early on. It's just weird. Because like we haven't really been able to see other monsters until we've been able to fight them in the story, until we got their mission. Fulgur Anjanat is just one of those rare exceptions that you see the monster before the game is like, all right, now you're required to fight it. It's just weird. I mean, I guess Anjanath was the same thing when we saw him at the very, very, very beginning of World and didn't fight him till later. But that was like, that was like story though. Like, this is a subspecies... Anjanath and the game's like nah man there like there he is like you you can like look at look at him look at how pretty he is don't don't fight him yet don't don't fight him yet it's just weird what oh my god did you see that I all right hang on we're I do not think we actually hit Pink Rathian. There's no way. There's no way we actually hit Pink Rathian with that ledge hop attack. There's no way. There's no way. I mean, I'm not going to complain. But, like, we just we just did, like, a like a moon jump to Pink Rathian's body. Like, oh, yeah, mount. Yeah, yeah. Let's just move. There's no gravity here. All right. This fight is honestly just going to be the same as Rathian's, except Pink Rathian, I guess, will just be quote-unquote stronger because, you know, it's Pink Rathian and not Rathian. But, like, we're we're kind of we're kind of killing Pink Rathian like she doesn't mean anything. Can we get another far ledge hop? Oh, my God. How does it reach that far? It legit doesn't look like it should be able to go that far. Okay, yeah, we couldn't reach that far. That was definitely outside of our realm of reach, but like, I mean, come on. Oh, dang, wow. Also, is that gonna work? Oh my God, that works. We're smacking the ground, but it's Pink Rathian's face! Ooh. That, that had a bigger blast radius than I was prepared for. All right, let's just heal up. Again, our strats are gonna be generally the same every hunt right for right now with the hammer because the hammer just has kind of the same the same strat it's just i'm trying to see how efficient how fast we can do this because like we beat pink rat we beat yeah blah, blah, blah. we beat rathy in like 11 minutes like how fast can we beat pink rathy like honestly man you remember when you fought pink rathy in like world and the game was like, hey, there's a subspecies. And you were like, oh, shoot, dude. That monster is, like, so powerful. Like, how are we ever going to handle that? And, like, literally, we're manhandling Pink Rathian into, into submission. Like, oh, man, Pink Rathian, I'm so scared of your raw power. Which is only funny because Pink Rathian was like one of the monsters that in my to my memory was one of those first things that you got to and you're like, oh man, my sharpness isn't high enough. We're bouncing off like the center of the body or like the 
the base of the tail. But now, like, you're here and now you're, like, when, like, white sharpness is almost, like, a given or a guarantee and you're kind of, like, oh. Oh, you, you were a, you were a threat? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I guess I didn't. You're, like, I guess I didn't get the memo. Like, I'm sorry. All right, you're not enraged. I See, with Agitator, the cool thing is you really want to go for flinch shots because you can, like, manually enrage a monster. Because having Agi-7, we get a boost to our attack, which fills in our attack boost that we don't have. And it gives us 20% affinity. That's like having... Four, that's like having level six to seven critical eye and then two more levels on top of that just when they're in, like only when they're enraged like it's crazy it's crazy edgy is just such a overpowered skill maybe i should go find more singer ammo is there any nearby well okay what I said was, is there any sling ammo nearby? Not, can you hit me with the base of your, with your tail to poison me? And I guess, kill me? <gasps> Are we dead? No. Never mind. The poison, the poison got us. No. No. The tear Raider left us. We're alone. We've been abandoned by our friends. But that's okay. We will be strong without them, and I still have a shock trap. Oh man, it didn't save my item rearrangement to have my trank bombs like right next to my shock trap. Damn. That's also upsetting. Yeah, I tried to organize my item bar to make it where my shock trap was like right next to my trank bomb, so it'd be faster to obviously do said strap, but well... Can't win them all, I guess. Wow. Got stuck in the ground, ready for another Big Bang. Okay. Yeah, the problem with the hammer specifically that I personally don't like is just it's just that slow animation you're just you're locked into. Oh. Hello. Olger Anjana. Who is also very large, but we're not gonna be fighting. Where is where is Ingrathian going? can't really track it because Fulger is like right on my butt. Yeah, invasion mo invasion monsters are the worst. That's why like in the base game, that's why Basil Goose is like the worst thing that ever existed because of that exact reason. You're like, oh, I just want to hunt this cool little like ZZ Yaku and Basil Goose is like, ha ha ha, psych. He's like, haha, no way, buddy. You got to deal with, with me, and I'm super annoying. I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, you are. Okay. I just, I just want you to have skulls so I can just capture you and be done with this. Can you, can you, can you do that for me? No. No. Not looking like it, and now we're not now we're not near any lead. So like now this is just even more depressing. Shoot. All right. Hmm. What is the best way to deal with Pink Rathian? Oh. Well, I guess if it stops moving, that's one way to deal with it. Oh, there's skulls. There it is. No, stop running away. I said no. 
it's dead. No. No. Also, I never realized that whole time poison was slowly killing us. Look at how little our health is. Wait, is Folger? Is Folger really confused of my location? Alright, where is Rathian going? Yeah, I think it's going to the area Palumu kind of hangs out. I'm not gonna heal because we're gonna we're gonna capture Pink Rathian because it's gonna go sleep to try to get his health back. And I'm not gonna waste a healing item on a monster we're about to be done fighting anyways. Let's Oh Rathian Pink Rathian's way up here. The very top. Oh, I can't. Okay, hang on, hang on. Hang on, this is easily remedied. Alright, walk into it. That's right. Ah, ha ha! Pink Rathian captured. And that's it. That was it for Pink Rathian. Now, I don't actually have two. I have one more quest, one more. I have a delivery quest on my agenda for this mission. Um, so I was thinking maybe we'll have time to do the Tales of Ice and Fire with Vulcana, but no, we'll just save that. We'll save that for next time. We'll save that for next time. Look at that, 11 and a half minutes. That was the same time it took us to beat Rathian. Almost. So good. So efficient. going head to head with Velcana. But why the Elder's Recess? Why indeed. Well, the other quest that we're going to tackle is looking for that glimmer. Bossman says he's got some theories about Gaia Amber that he'd like to test. In return for your help, he'll upgrade the Harvest Box. <gasps> what? He'll upgrade it? Ooh. I want that. Now, Gaia Ambers, we've had... No, 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 no. No, we're not using a voucher on this. <laughs> it doesn't matter what we bring into this. This is just going to be the same thing as, like, doing the Butterbirds and stuff like that. If you've noticed in the more volcanic area, those kind of, like, fossilized orange, like, blips on the, on the map or stuff that we've encountered while running around, those are the Gaia Ambers. So, we're just going to speed through and collect those. And with that, all of our Gaia Ambers have been gathered and delivered. It's not too bad. There's three right here by these, uh, I believe it's Gestadon or something like that. Um, it's pretty easy to actually collect them. The only problem is because there's not very many Amber deposits, you do kind of have to wait for them to respawn. At least that's what I had to do because I had, was it like 12 or 13 of 20 or something like that or 15 or I forget the number already. But yeah, not too bad. It's just kind of more of a waiting game, but not a bad delivery. And look at that. For for finally, for the first time ever gathering anything from the Amber Deposits, we got all these extra ingredients to our canteen, which will make it better. And our box has expanded. Finally, so helpful. We're finally going head to head with Velcana. But why the Elder's Recess? And to take a look at that, look at that, 50, 50 
Oh, man. It's so good. Beef that up, I need more Mandragoras. But yeah, now we can hold 50 items. And if we talk to the Elder Melder, they might. Or maybe it's. Maybe it's more being in Celiana. Is it? It might. It might be in Celiana. For all that is. But we'll check out all of that next time when we also tackle a tale of ice and fire and finally fight Velcana. So, until then, I will see you guys next time.